a master of all matter. Yes. Now, you're pretty much blue throughout the whole movie, right? Yes. Now, what was that experience like? I mean, did they film like, a collar on you, right? Is that... No, basically, I wore um, these white kind of pajamas that had uh, blue lights on them and some motion capture, um, uh, like, you know, dots on them. And then I had dots on my face. And... Um, they are going to computer animate everything. Now, for all of you that are acting in this, was the Watchmen graphic novel something you guys always kept on set as like an instant go-to guide if you were like stuck for a scene? Yeah, for me. I mean, you rarely have that much source material uh, that tells you exactly what's happening in your character. Mostly, you count on the screenplay for doing that, and either it does it in a way that's sufficient and makes you excited to do it, or it doesn't. And, uh... This, uh, this screenplay possessed all the complexity for me that I really needed. But when I got stuck or when I felt like something was missing, to be able to have the graphic novel to turn to, um, apart from it just being an unbelievable piece of creative work, um, was uh, uh, a pretty incredible source of material. Now, did you go in and tweak anything that you thought was a little bit off in the book, or did you keep straight with what was in the book? Dude, I'm a mouthpiece, all right? I'm not a freaking director or a writer. I, I'm happy to get the chance to say what I'm supposed to say, and I try to make it look as cool as possible. Okay, one last question. Uh, what would, what one fan scene are you excited for fans to see in this? Of mine? Uh, probably the scene when he's trying to please his girlfriend as three different guys. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, thank you. And I did it all. Awesome.